So this week's word of the week for week number 27 is body composition. Now body composition is the amount of fat, bone, water, and muscle that is in your body. So make sure you guys get ready for your fast five workout as well as your activity of the day and we'll get started in just a moment. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you high five that subscribe button and you high five that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming and newest activities. So this week's fast five workout number 27 consists of the following four exercises. Exercise number one, invisible jump ropes. Exercise number two, reverse lunges. Exercise number three, hill taps. And exercise number four, quick feet. So make sure you guys stay tuned and don't, I repeat, do not go anywhere. All right, so here we go for fast five workout number 27. Here are the following four exercises. Exercise number one, invisible jump rope. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in and put your feet a little bit staggered and you're just gonna do basic jumps, okay? If you want to, if you wanna do single hops, you can do that. If you wanna do double unders, you can try that as well. Um, whatever you guys are feeling like doing, you're gonna do four invisible jump ropes. All right, then moving on to number two, we're gonna do reverse lunges. So you're gonna start with either your right foot back, left foot back, it's completely up to you. I'll start with my right foot back. And then what I'm gonna do is drop that knee straight down and up, down and up. So I'll do it three times on my right and then switch and then go three times on my left. All right, so those are reverse lunges. Moving on to exercise number three, which is heel tap. So we're gonna go on down to our bottoms, to our backs. And what you're simply going to do is lay down, your hands are going to go down to the side and touch your heel of your foot, and you're going to go side to side, kind of like a penguin waddling, side to side. These are called heel taps. And then we're going to move on to exercise number four, which is quick feet, and we're just going to chop in place, chop in place, chop in place. Try to stay on your toes if you want to challenge yourself, or just get those hands pumping and legs going at the same time, okay? So make sure you guys get ready for your fast five workout number 27, and we'll start in just a moment. Definitely a great workout so far. 
fast five workout. Every workout requires no equipment, limited time, it only takes five minutes. Up to you, time for directions. But each workout is only five minutes, what makes it easy to do. We are, this is actually fast five workout number 27, so there's 26 other videos that you can watch. Okay? You can check it out on my main page at Keyspot, as well as Fast Five Workouts. It's another YouTube if you want to get straight to the yeah. workouts rather than all the other key games. If that's what you want to do, go so head on over to Fast Five Workouts YouTube page. You can check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, here we go, round two. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that Fast Five workout number 27. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about the workout. What keeps you inspired to keep participating in these Fast Five workouts? Drop a comment down below. And as always, at the PE spot, the fun never stops. Until next time, take care. another amazing video so for today we have a fun game and it's called plank kingpin now the only items you're gonna need for it are two water bottles and a uh, bottle cap I use this off a of peanut butter cap um, those are the only two items you're gonna need for this activity so don't go anywhere all right so now that you have your items ready to go with a water bottle make sure it's empty there's no water in it and then the peanut butter cap or any type of cap you have that's gonna be placed on the floor so now what you're gonna do is you are gonna be in a plank position. So if you don't know a plank position, you're gonna have your hands about feet, uh, shoulder width apart. You're gonna lift your legs up and then we're gonna actually stagger our feet. So it's a little bit easier for us to maintain our balance. You're gonna put the water bottle in between. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide the peanut butter cap 
to the other side of your opponent and you're gonna try to knock down their water bottle on their side. Now, if you are able to knock down their water bottle, you get two points and then you guys will just take turns going back and forth. You are allowed to block it, so with one hand planking, you can block it and defend your water bottle. But again, it is difficult because you are in a plank position. So stay tuned and we'll go ahead and demonstrate this activity. All right, so make sure your peanut butter cap is flipped over. You get in a plank position. Now you can't hover over it like this because you don't want to knock over your own pin. If you knock over your own pin, your opponent gets one point. So make sure you don't do that, okay? So go on side your feet. I'm gonna go first. I missed. Jordan knocked it over, so I get one point anyways. Now he's gonna toss it. Nope. Other way. So just like ski hockey. We're going to continue going back and forth, doing our best. Again, what I recommend is that you plank with one hand, switch, and shoot with the other hand. I would recommend doing both hands, your dominant hand and your non-dominant hand. I hope you guys enjoyed this step. Again, I recommend you guys switching arms to the fence. You knock it down, I get one point. So we hope you really enjoyed that game of Plank Kingpin, and we hope you guys try it um, yourself. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, take care.